Our next guest is a man who will play for BYU in his first game against Utah as well. He's a graduate transfer running back from Rice who ran for 778 yards, four yards of carry, six touchdowns the past three seasons for the Rice Owls. And he now joins us on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. His name is Emmanuel Isupa. Emmanuel, great to have you on the show. Great to be here. Thank you. Okay, first off, uh, walk us through the process of uh, deciding to transfer and then how you ended up uh, at BYU. Uh, well, you know, um, this last past season, you know, just didn't go exactly how I wanted it to. And I felt as if I would have, you know, a better opportunity elsewhere. Um, and also I decided that I wanted to, you know, uh, pursue graduate studies. So um, I just thought that was the best decision for me and my family. Um, and then I had talked to Coach Stewart. Um, you know, we had shared some words about it. And then he uh, said that they had some interest in me um, when we were talking about the whole grad transfer process. And I definitely had some interest in BYU, so we made it happen. How much was the relationship with Coach Stewart, how much did that play into coming to BYU? Uh, it, it played it a, a lot, you know. Um, it's always good to, you know, have somebody know how you learn, uh, you know, someone that you know how they coach instead of going into something completely new and, and stuff like that. Um, so it, it played really, really well. And, it, of course, you know, we know each other really, really well off the field as well. So um, that, that played a huge part into it. Do you have any fun A.J. Stewart stories? Now, certainly nothing that's going to get you in trouble or take away any playing time. Do you have any fun stories about Coach Stewart? Uh... <laughs> One story, the, the, the first thing that popped to my head is, you know, how I used to always sleep in, in meetings uh, when I was a freshman. Uh, you know, I was still getting used to college. Uh, I was still getting used to, like, the schedule of, uh, you know, football and juggling everything. So I used to always sleep in meetings. And, I mean, he used to just call my name and it would be silent. And he used to always make me sit in the front for the whole time uh, that he coached me. He used to always make me sit in the front. Um, of the meeting room so he could keep an eye on me. So that was, that was a pretty funny time. <laughs> You know you have to sit front row on the in the first meeting at BYU, right? I <laughs> got to. You, I you've to. got to do it, right? You just go up to the front and you're like, hey, coach, look, I'm, I'm in the front row. This is great. We're talking to Emmanuel Isupa, uh, grad transfer running back. Uh, what, are you, what have you known about BYU and what do you know now? Uh, I've known that they have, they've had a great history of running backs, you know. Um, I, I've known that uh, there's just been a consistent team for a long time. Um, and now that I know that, you know, this is a team that's on the rise, that has a lot of promise, um, and, you know, they had a, you know, they had a little bit of depth issue as, at the running back spot, so I'm just here to help the, be the best I can and hopefully get a lot of wins this season. Now, you mentioned that when you were looking for places to go, it, was, it obviously was an on-the-field decision, but there was, you know, your schooling was a big part of that as well. What, what are you studying? What are you coming here to study? Uh, Master's of Public Administration. So what are you what are you looking to do with that? So I'm looking at so before with my sport management uh, degree, I was looking to you know work in stadiums or um, events and things like that. Um, but now that I'm going to you know grad school, I want to get a different approach and hopefully um, mix my sport management with the MPA program and uh, somehow work for the community of some sort. Um, you know things like that. So I still have a lot of time to decide that, but. Um, it's going to be something in that realm. Emmanuel, the, f the first three games last year, you ran for 81-plus. Uh, you ran for 100-plus in two of those three. Um, you're 5'11", 232. I guess describe kind of your, your game and, and uh, what you see possibly doing at BYU. Uh, my game is just a, a straight downhill runner, you know, um, ground and pound. Uh, hopefully... Uh, you know, at BYU, I could, I could bring that same element. You know, I just want to be somebody that uh, defenses don't want to tackle at the end of the game. So um, that's something that I'm looking to do at BYU for sure. How do you feel like you fit into what Coach Grimes wants this offense to look like? I'm assuming you guys have had those conversations. How, how do you feel you fit into the plan on offense? Well, exactly that. Like, you know, someone that is going to, you know, pound the ball, someone that's a downhill runner. Um, I've ran some of the same schemes uh, in my past, you know, years as a running back. So it'll be easy to learn. Um, it'll be something I'm familiar with. So that'll just be just an easy fit and just knowing, uh, like, the, the same reads that I had before, 
will just be a smoother transition as well. So uh, I feel like I'll, I'll fit well in this offense. Do you have a winter coat, Emmanuel? <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> you uh, may- it, it, it gets a little bit cold sometimes, so I, I keep I keep a little bit, but not a lot. But I, I have some big coats. You may need a snow scraper as well. Yeah, it's a, it's it's fun weather after football season. Perhaps uh, you'll be uh, you know midway through your degree and whatnot there. But um, what what did you think of you? Have you been to Utah? Had you had you been to Utah prior to your visit? Uh, I guess what are you looking forward to about the state? I have not been to Utah prior to the visit, but um, when I went on my visit, I was very. Uh, impressed by just the views you know I haven't really been around mountains at all like that so that was just something new to me and then the snow was on top of the mountains and everything um Utah is a great city you know just driving uh from the airport to Provo you know all the views there as well so um I think it's a it's a great place it's a it's a great place uh something new that that would be um great to me you know just to get around uh the you know the U.S. you know I've been all around for football but I haven't really been in cities to like uh, actually take them in so this would be a great opportunity for me to just expand my horizon and I'm very excited you know Emmanuel this is a this is a good opportunity for fans to kind of get to know you a little bit more than just maybe what they see in terms of stats and things like that give everybody an idea of, of your background where you grew up and and things like that so people have an opportunity to get to know you a little bit better yes sir so I grew up in um, Dallas Texas you know my family is from Nigeria um, I went to school at Mansfield High School. Uh, it's, it's a suburb of Dallas. Um, then I went to Houston, you know, Rice University for four years um, and, and played football there, majored in sport management. Um, and, yeah, now I'm here. When you look at BYU's schedule, and it's certainly daunting, especially the first four games, what kind of emotions uh, come to mind? Uh, excitement, you know, um, the redemption. I just want to prove that I could, I could play with the big dogs. Um, and I, I just want to prove that, you know, we can compete with, with anybody in the nation. So I'm very excited for that schedule. Uh, just real fast, what are your thoughts on the color red? Are you, are, you, are you positive or negative in terms of the color red? And remember, the Utes wear red. <laughs> so, so, okay, so before, to be honest, I like the color red. But now, you know, after, after my visit, uh, I see that this is a, this is a very bad color. So I'm going to make it. <laughs> Well, awesome. I'm going to make the transition. There we I'm go. I'm working on making the transition. There we go. Very nice. Uh, blue, navy and royal blue are, are what's <laughs> up, man. Uh, well, we look forward to you being here um, in the summer. When will you uh, get here, by the way? Uh, we're still trying to figure that out right now, um, work out some kinks and things like that. But it, it should be somewhere, you know, in May or something like that. Okay. Well, uh, enjoy your time when you get here, and we look forward to meeting you in person and uh, seeing you score a bunch of touchdowns. Thanks, Emmanuel. Yes, sir. Thank you. That's Emmanuel Isupa on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Deseret First, your values, your timeline, your financial future. Excited about uh, seeing him play in the fall. Yeah, I'm excited. Great interview.